So to say as our launch begins, we have our 2012, we have our field trials. The equipment is so complicated, it takes quite some time to uh, calibrate it. Now, I would think you could calibrate something like this in a few days. Clearly, I'm wrong. It takes six, seven, eight months of constant calibration because the, sh the, the ocean is not pr completely predictable. These are viscous fluids. There's all sorts of analog behaviors and so forth, all of which our team will be working very hard on. So the first task is literally simply a certification and calibration, which will go on. In 2013, um, we have already, and Victor has been running this process, uh, selected at least three research missions. I suspect that there will be more, assuming everything goes well. One is to look at what's going on in the deepest hydrothermal vents in the, in the world. It, this is a point where life is being created. We don't quite understand what's going on down there. Um, there are indications that this is, uh, these are conditions that are similar to how the Earth was formed and life em emerged here on, on the Earth. It's pretty amazing. Uh, we're looking at something called the uh, oxygen depletion. Um, as global warming occurs, the oceans are getting sicker, and the rate at which oxygen goes out is actually a serious concern. Um, and there are many reasons to be worried about the oceans. One is they're beautiful, two, they're important, three, they're the source of 40% you know, of the world's food. So whatever reason you care, we care a lot about the oceans, which is why we're doing this first place. And there's a possibility of literally killing at least parts, parts of the ocean. How, and, and more importantly, how does the ocean recover from, uh, from this rate of oxygen depletion? And we're also looking at global scale cataclysms. So an example would be a large scale meteor impact, the craters and so forth that exist underneath the ocean that can help us understand how the, how the Earth and the globe adapt to uh, the changes around us. We know the Earth and our, our lovely planet are biospheres that adapt to changes. We want to understand how they will. Why is this important? Because we're changing it. So if there's, I cannot think of anything more important than having a model for what happens to the Earth ahead of us because we are, it's our only planet and it's exactly where we're gonna be for the next uh, 100 years. In 2014, we're beginning to think about where to go. We already have, Victor, I think it's 61, 60, oh, one went up today, okay. We have 62 proposals for two years from now. So to get a sense, for those of you who worked so hard to make this happen, you're very popular. Uh, your work is going to be used for many, many, many years. Uh, I want to make sure I thank you for the dedication and the commitment. When I look at what you've done, I see an extraordinary project. Uh, when I think about it, we made the right choice, Gary. Thank you very much. Thank you.